everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a double crochet border around your project. So this is actually the second video in my border series. So if you haven't seen the first one, which is how to make a single crochet border, definitely check it out. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box. So for this tutorial, all you're going to need is either your current whip or you can also just make a practice swatch. I made a Zuzette stitch for my practice swatch using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and I used a second color. So this is actually We Crochet's Dishy Yarn in the color Inlet and it's just a 100% cotton yarn. Other things you might find useful is just a stitch marker to place in the corners of your border. I find it really helpful because um, it helps me see where to place my stitches and then you are also going to just need a pair of scissors to cut your yarn at the end. All right, let's get started with our tutorial. All right, so our first step in making a double crochet border is to add our second color yarn. So go ahead and take your crochet hook, insert it into that first stitch, and then take your yarn, drape it over the crochet hook, and then just carefully pull it through. And now you want to go ahead and chain three because we're making a double crochet. So your chain three counts as a double crochet. So one, two, and three, okay? And then carefully take your tail end and then just pull it just a little bit to secure it. All right, so now we need to go ahead and make a double crochet in the same stitch where we added our yarn. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull, pull through the last two loops for a double crochet. All right, so now our next step in making a double crochet border is to make a double crochet within each stitch on your project. So I have a, um, a swatch here of the Zuzette stitch, so I'm gonna be making a double crochet in each stitch until the end. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and then I will meet you right back here when I've completed all my double crochets. All right, so I've just completed my double crochet border on top and so now I'm at a corner. Now for the corner, you want to make three double crochet stitches. Okay, so go ahead and slightly turn your work and we're gonna go ahead and make three double crochets within the same stitch. All right, so just go ahead and complete your three double crochets. Now, if you find that your work looks a little bit tight or it's rounding, you could always make an extra double crochet stitch. That's what I do when it looks a little bit like it's curling or it's rounding. All right, so once you have completed three double crochets, it should look like this. And so now we're just gonna continue working on the side. Okay, so now we've come to the side of our work and so all you want to do is, is you want to just place one double crochet per row. Okay, sometimes this can be a bit tricky to see depending on what stitch you use, but just do your best and place your double crochet within each stitch on the side. So one stitch per row. All right, so here I am and I've just made my corner. So let me go ahead and yarn over and I'll go ahead and show you how I do it. So. I have a stitch right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my one double crochet. Okay, and then here's another one. All right, go ahead and place another one. All right, just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have something that looks like this. Now, the more that you do, the more this will start to look a little bit neater. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this all the way till the end here, till my corner, and then I'm gonna make three double crochets. All right, so I've just finished my double crochet row, and as you can see, this side has definitely straightened out a bit, so it looks like this. Okay, and so now what you wanna do is you just wanna to continue to make double crochets all along the edge, and so I'm gonna to continue to do that until I get right here, and then I will show you how to finish off your border. All right, so I'm here towards the end of my border, and so now I just need to make one more double crochet because you always wanna make sure that you have three. But like I said, if you find that it's rounding or it's curling, don't be afraid to add an extra double crochet. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my last double crochet here in that same stitch where I added the yarn and where I originally made my double crochet. Okay, so it looks like this. And so now all you wanna do is slip stitch it to the first stitch. So, or you can also slip stitch it to the third chain. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a slip stitch. So insert your hook, then yarn over, pull through, and then pull through one more time. And there you go. So now all we need to do is just cut our yarn and finish off our work. All right, so I just cut my yarn. And so now what you wanna do is just yarn over and then pull through. All right, and then just take your tail end and then pull through one more time to create a knot. And there you go. Now you've successfully made a double crochet border. So all you wanna do is just work in this end. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make a double crochet border. Don't forget, you can always take a look at the blog post. It'll have some step-by-step -step photos. So you can always just take a look at that if you wanted to see everything a little bit in more detail. The link for that will be in the description box below. And as always, don't forget to share and save this post. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.